What's that I hear? Another Wii U game selling for $60? I'll take 20. Yep, it's that time of year again. Time for Nintendo to figure out how to squeeze just a tiny bit more money out of the catastrophic failure that was the Wii U. No! Go back in your corner! You didn't happen! So, what was I talking about? Oh right, Mario 3D World. Plus Bowser's Fury. It still definitely holds up. 3D World came out in a time when Nintendo's console future wasn't sure, and we didn't even have a true mainline Zelda or Mario game. And if you compare this to where we're at now, the difference is as clear as night and day. Mario 3D World totally played it safe. Rather than spending the dev time and budget to make a sprawling world exploration game like 64 and Sunshine, the linear level design from Galaxy got pushed to the next level. Now compare that to Odyssey and its open world, much like 64 and Sunshine. Now, for as much as I love Odyssey, I will say, the dev team behind 3D World went absolutely crazy, dude. The amount of creativity put into these levels is fantastic. Amidst the typical levels, there's your real gems. The Mario Kart level, a fun shadow level that everyone talks about, and a level about speed! Eight worlds and four special worlds. There's definitely a lot of content here. I remember I was trying to get 100% back when this came out on Wii U, but I just couldn't do it. I just started getting way too burnt out by the end. Because you know what? 380 stars, not a big deal. You know, 85 stamps, not a big deal. But you need to beat every level with every character to get 100%. And I just, playing a level, the same level, up to five times, is just not fun. This feels very video gamey, and I really like that. Even when I was trying to 100% it, 3D World was just a plain good time. The controls are tight, and actually, about the controls, I never realized it back then since, you know, Odyssey didn't exist. But hot dog, this game feels like a prototype Mario Odyssey. Throw your hat, damn it! I actually had to do a double take since they felt so similar. My Odyssey instincts were instantly kicking in, telling me to jump, hat throw, dive, and then dive again. But nope, no caffeine in sight. Instead, we have some power-ups and four, <laughs> five characters. Dude, come on. It's eight years old and the website even says this character. Right there. Rosaline can be unlocked as a playable character too. So yeah, five different characters, each with their own unique twist to the playstyle. Compared to the Wii U original, this game cranks up the speed a few notches. You can really go zoom! and the power-ups add to that classic video game feel, while giving even more distinction from Odyssey. You got your mascot, the Super Bell. This ability breaks game balance. There's the Super Mushroom, the Mega Mushroom. It's as useless as ever. There's the Super Star, which makes you literally invincible, and it's still less broken than the Cat Bell. The Fire Flower, Double Cherry, which I really, really enjoy. And the Super Leaf comes back, which is dope. There's a boomerang and the lame bell. Oh, and the baby bitch leaf. Don't use this. The developers went absolutely crazy with every power-up and the creative uses for them. Each level was made with the power-ups in mind, from crazy high places the super bell can get you to, to the frantic levels with the double cherry. The developers made some amazing set pieces. Everybody and their grandma talks about this, but one of my absolute favorite levels was Mount Mustache. It's f***ing Mario Kart again! Whew. Uh, sorry, I don't know, uh, I don't know what came over me, but uh, anyways, this level is fantastic. From the fitting music to the quite frankly adorable Mario Kart aesthetic, the level completely hits it out of the park, and it's even better on the Switch. Just look at the little man go. And for any of you wondering, in the uh, conversion from Wii U to Switch, you might notice that uh, there's no uh, touchpad or microphone. Well, for the touchscreen shenanigans, you can use motion controls. And for the mic gimmicks, yeah, I just got rid of them. Yeah, it's just gone. Oh, oh, what about those stamps you can collect? Good question. Back on the Wii U, you could collect them for posts on Miiverse, which has since gone the way of the F-Zero series. Welp, you can certainly stamp things. Honestly, I think that just about covers all of the differences. As for the base game itself, it's wonderful. If you haven't played 3D World, you're doing yourself a massive disservice. The game is just lighthearted fun, and I'm sure with friends it'll be a blast. Thanks for the reminder! And that's Super Mario 3D World. So how do I think this compares to the original? It's pretty one-to-one, -one, and it is just slightly graphically better, and the controls are even more tight, which is pretty crazy considering how good and how well polished this game was before. So, do I recommend it? 
Honestly, it seems like you can skip out on- But wait, there's more! What's this? Don't just want another Wii U re-release? Well, have we got the perfect product! Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury! That's right, you get not only one game, but mandatory DLC for $20! All for the low price of $60! You get what is essentially a $20 expansion, all for the low price of $60! Buy it today! Yes, yes, how could I forget? Y'all guys probably already know what the deal is with 3D World. I mean, the original game came out eight years ago. But how about this Bowser's Fury stuff? Why is it so dark? Who are these cats? Why is Bowser so big? Why does Bugs Rug have no friends? Is Daisy in this game? No? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of speculation going into this game's release, and I was pretty excited. Though I didn't have like any insanely high hopes for it, but I still had hopes. And did they get met? Kind of. So remember how I was saying that 3D World felt a whole hell of a lot like Odyssey? Well, this mode takes it even further. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's open world, and you go from one water area to the next, collecting shines, and it's all to defeat a giant Bowser. You know, I'm starting to see a lot of connections to Sunshine. The formula works. It works really well, actually, but it only works really well for Odyssey. This is Super Mario 3D World we're talking about. This game mode feels insanely disconnected from it. Bowser's Fury is certainly fun, and it's great looking, but it really feels like an asset flip. Just look at the shine collecting animation. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're going to steal from a Mario game, Odyssey, perfect choice, perfect game to steal from. But this just felt a little, um, uncanny. And it really just made me crave an Odyssey 2 more than anything else. It made me remember just how fantastic of a game Odyssey was. The movement is like butter, and being in an open world is just fun. But here's the thing. That's Odyssey, and this is 3D World. The only thing that really felt like it tied back to 3D World were the power-ups, enemies, and cats. Other than that, it honestly could have just been Odyssey DLC. Minor spoilers up ahead. Honestly, you'd probably think that I hate this game, but the truth is I don't. It's a freaking fun three hour romp with tons of collecting to do. There's 50 required shines to beat the game and 100 in total. Also like Odyssey, you have to beat the game first to unlock some of the other shines. Just saying. The fights with Bowser increase in difficulty with every encounter. Honestly, my last gripe is with just how freaking fast you get to fight Bowser. Now, I'm talking within like the first 20 minutes. You already fight him. That caught me completely off guard. I was expecting the fight to be like the climax of the story, but nope. 20 minutes in, man, you get to fight him, and you just fight him throughout the story. Are we good? Did I forget anything? No? Cool. So that has been Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, all in all, this game has had some minor but very nice improvements to the original. And if you've never played Mario 3D World before... Are we good? Did I forget anything? Are we good? Did I forget anything? No? Okay, cool. So this has been Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, all in all, the game has gotten minor but very nice improvements to the original. And I really, really enjoyed it. If you have not played 3D World before, 100% go out, buy this, and play it. I really recommend it. It is a fantastic game. However, if you've played it before, it's going to be a lot of a harder sell. Because this is a $40 game with $20 DLC permanently stuck to it. Now, don't get me wrong. Bowser's Fury is fun, if not a bit lazy at times. But is it really worth the extra price tag? For me, it was. And if you think you'll enjoy it, it's totally going to be worth it. But for the rest of you, it's going to be a lot harder to sell. And honestly, you're not missing out on a lot if you skip out this release. So, yeah. Oh, yeah! There was something I forgot. Captain Toad made his playable debut. It's almost like I don't care. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you want to stay updated, hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.